year ago, Turkey's first technology service provider went public. The IPO has helped Caffeine Technology Solutions nearly double its income. Our share price rose 20% the day we listed. After that, of course, there have been ups and downs, but that's to be expected. The main reason for going public was to launch an international platform. And with the IPO, our revenue has grown and our profit doubled to around $1.7 million in 2018. Providing software solutions for the finance, telecoms and transportation sectors, Caffeine has recently been working on data protection and smart city projects. It counts firms like Turk Telecom, IBM and Turkish Airlines among its customers. So the company says choosing one of Istanbul's so-called technoparks as its headquarters was a logical decision. The number of technoparks at Turkish universities has risen from only two 20 years ago to more than 60 today. The scene is not only crucial for developing innovative products, but for competing in international markets. More than 5,000 firms are operating in technoparks across the country, gradually adding value to the economy. The government offers tax and export incentives. To date, it's provided more than $160 million in direct support, in a bid to boost Turkey's competitiveness in the global tech race. We want to bring universities, the real sector and the public together efficiently, mobilizing the spirit of innovation. By hosting these three elements under one roof, Technoparks have become some of the most important contributors to the economy. They account for nearly $4 billion in exports and more than $19 million in the past two decades. And Caffeine has similar goals. It aims to grow from a solutions provider to an exporter of IT solutions. Many of the tech services in Europe and the US come from India. But recently, a lot of software developers have been moving abroad. That doesn't necessarily mean we are losing suppliers, but rather that foreign firms are increasingly trusting Turkish engineers and their high-quality work. Some even talk about replacing Indian suppliers with Turkish ones. Caffeine is hoping to increase exports to around 15% of its revenue. Last year, it bought a 51% share in IT firm Smartix, which operates internationally. And this year, it plans to open an office in the UK, helping grow Turkey's $7 billion IT market beyond its borders. Sibel Karkos, TRT World, Istanbul.